Hit the roads wherever they go, winding through Australia. With my camera in my hand, I am the Overlander. G'day, and welcome to the second episode of Around Australia. Once again, you'll get to meet some real Aussie characters as I make my way up the Queensland leg of the East Coast. First stop is the Gold Coast, an area which incorporates roughly about 40 kilometres of beautiful sandy beaches. And with around 300 days of sunshine per year, you can understand why it's one of Australia's fastest growing regions. When you mention the Gold Coast to a lot of Australians, they'll automatically start telling you how it's too commercial and full of high rises. Now there is some truth to this, but really, the Gold Coast is no different from any number of large international tourist destinations. And with approximately 4 million visitors a year, you've got to expect some amount of infrastructure. So I wasn't stuck for things to do. Being a relatively new community, with most of its development occurring in the last couple of decades, the Gold Coast has been a place where people have moved to live out their dreams, and many have done well in the process. To capture this spirit, I interviewed local businesswoman Jenny Purdy, editor of the Gold Coast magazine. The magazine is very much focused around the social scene. We are what I would call a glitterati magazine. We refer to the Gold Coast as the Glitter Strip because in any one day there will be three or four functions on. The Gold Coast is a young city, but with Sydney and Melbourne you've got your old established families and if you open the papers down there, it's always, you know, people that have got lots of money or their well-known old families and, and their celebrities and their TV stars and their this and their that. Up here, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you've got a dollar or not, you can be on the social scene. So that, that is what makes the Gold Coast unique. We've got a population of about 427,000 people. We're the small business capital of Australia. We've got 42,000 small businesses here. Everybody's come here, loved it, and thought, well, I want to live here. And we've all had to get out there and generate incomes. So you've got one business to every 10 people virtually. So we're, we've, we've taken this place, which was a little tourist holiday resort in the 60s, and turned it into the sixth largest city in Australia, purely on people's innovation, you know? So, you know, it's, there's a lot to be said for the Gold Coast. What I love about the Gold Coast is its lifestyle and everything that anybody needs is right here on the, go on the Gold Coast. They don't need to go anywhere else. We've got theme parks. We're as good as Disneyland. We've got rainforests. We've got mountains. We've got beaches. We've got shopping malls. <laughs> we've got more shopping malls than we know what to do with here. So, you know, we've got beautiful hotels. You name it, we've got it. The Gold Coast is, in my opinion, the best place in the world. I really feel that. 